Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Last time we made it to the tip of the Tower of the Gods. And now we're going to enjoy that big dong. If you enjoy beating off bosses with them big old hands, getting bows, and ringing bells, if you'd like this video, comment and subscribe. Alright, so we got some interesting things that we're going to be getting into today. See how this goes first. Gonna be enjoying some cutscenes here. A bing bong! Hello! We've done it. We have now signaled that we are the champion. We have climbed Mount Midoriyama. That's a Ninja Warrior joke. Oh! Someone's peeing in the pool! The bee! And now we're somehow at the bottom. The boat's like, I got you. Just go all the way back through the dungeon. All right. Praise as deserved. We are the true hero. The trials have not ended. I need you to go to the 7-Eleven and get me a pack of cigarettes and some milk. The true trial. Thankfully, though, this isn't like... Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword where you had to go and collect the bugs with the dumb little tears. We ain't doing that here. We're going to we're going to the pool party. Okay. And the boat drowns us. Very nice. Apparently now we have the power to breathe underwater. Nope. Link is dead. Oh. It's like this pee isn't so bad. It's warm. It smells like asparagus. Yeah, this is a very strange part of the game, but a very necessary one. You'll appreciate it shortly. Or not. If you couldn't tell, this is the submerged edition of Hyrule Castle. That is a lot of pee. In a land much different than the one we're in currently. But what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, yeah. This doesn't look like insert your favorite water park now. There's never enough time. Once you're able to strike down, ooh, with an item we get in the castle. Viewers, do you know what this is? Take a guess. It's the seed satchel. Okay. So now we've been given permission to head inside the castle. There's a goodie in here waiting for us. Who's excited? Oh, hello? Oh no, everybody's got a bad case of the sepia tone. A graphic designer's worst nightmare. Oh, looks like some interesting artwork around. Oh look, they built a statue to us. That's nice, that's quick. All right, so. Hello? Okay. It appears everybody's a little stage... I got a little stage fright. Hello? These guys won't come to life at any point while we're in here, right? I can't imagine they would do that. Huh. Oh. Is that the boat talking to us again? I thought you said you didn't have any time. You must find the entrance to the boat. Oh. Why do we have to go to everybody's basement? That doesn't sound safe. There's candy in the basement. Don't do that, kids. Don't go to the basement. All right, a mighty threshold. Do you know where to... S <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you, game. I get it. The shape of heraldry. 
Yeah. That's the game's way of trying to tell you that there's a little puzzle right here. If you couldn't tell. There are some blocks that we need to push. And you might be thinking to yourself, hold on a second. How are we making the Triforce out of two of them? Well, viewers, there's a little trick of roo that's going to happen. I did not want you to do that. I would like you to grab and push. Now, because these are triangles, this is going to be a little awkward. But it's not really that bad. You're just trying to essentially drag the individual pieces into formation here. And you can do it however you'd like. That's one. Like I alluded to though, this is the trickery. They're kind of messing with you a little bit. That is two of the pieces, not just one. So they want you to not realize that that's what that is. Silly game. <laughs> also, the game does a great job of setting the mood by having no music and making it incredibly awkward. They're like, D-Mike, how about you carry the, the load here? How about you bear the burden of no musics? So we're just going to keep pulling the, pulling the block. I can't talk. Pulling the block. And then we'll have it here just in a moment. That's two of them. This is a pretty tricky puzzle, viewers. Can you figure it out? I kind of almost went into full, like, Patrick Warburton mode there. Can you figure it out, Peter? I almost did it. I was very close to it, but I didn't want to do it. I don't even know if there's another word that I could say that would trigger that sound in my voice. But we're almost done. <gasps> Viewers, we did it. We did a puzzle for children. Now we can go into the cool dungeon basement. Oh. We passed 8th grade geometry. Oh no. Are you ruining my statue? This game loves, or this series in general loves, moving around to various hidden things behind statues. Look at it, it's so pretty. Okay, so now we have created a momentary Triforce. We've opened up the basement. Link is very excited. Ooh, viewers, what is this? Not the most unique way to go about getting this item in the series. And a little late. Hey. Hey, Link. Hey! Yeah. You figured out the puzzle, you big dummy. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, kind of like halfway through the game, or maybe like a... Maybe half. They give you the Master Sword. It's a bit of a strange set piece, but, you know, we'll take it. Grab that hilt, boy. Oh, yeah. The true hero has been realized. This is fun. This is our reward. So Link now has been drowned and blinded. Oh boy. Oh no, they turned the saturation up. Today's episode is brought to you by Graphic Design Jokes. Oh boy. It's not looking good here. I think these boys are about to come back to life. Ooh boy. That is a lot. So like go in the basement, get the sword, also prepare to get completely paddled when you get back. Yeah! It's ours! Hooray! Viewers! We did it! Although the Master Sword in this game does look very like unassuming. But it's it! We have it! It's ours. We have beaten the game. 
All right, very cool. Let's go ahead and check out some of this before we move on. Before we go back upstairs. If it'll let me, hopefully. Let's check out some of this. Oh, I don't, that's water. I don't want to go in that. Check out some of these stained glasses. These are pretty neat. Got one there that's just the Triforce with an orange on top of it. Maybe a chocolate orange. It's the holidays. Um, over here we have... Can't really get a good look at that one. Uh, I'm assuming that's supposed to be Din. That is supposed to be... Ooh, I don't know. Lee, this is a children's show. All right. Um, oh, these are the these are the the whatevers. Um, the sages. I don't know all their names. This is the this is one of the Gorons over here. Try to get you a better shot of it. There you go. It's like Darunia. This is the Triforce and looks like Ganon in his beast form. Full beast mode. This is... Um... Saria? Yeah, I, I haven't played... I've played some of Ocarina of Time, that's where this is from, but I haven't played a lot of it. So I do not know all of the... Sage's names. That looks like the King of Red Lines, but it might not be. But I'm assuming that's what all of these are. That's probably not Din, then, if that's the case here. Or maybe it is. No, that's... that's... Princess Ruda? And then another one. Is there anything else on the other side? It's kind of neat, though. Yeah, that's the sages. I don't know their names, unfortunately. Sorry. Sorry. You guys are probably like, wow, what a loser. He hasn't 100%ed Ocarina of Time a million times. He's no true gamer. Cancel him. All right. So one thing that I'm going to recommend that you have out is the grappling hook. You'll understand here in a moment why that is. You're going to need it. I mean, not really. You don't need it. I like how I speak and then I come and then I immediately correct myself. All right. So everybody's here and they're mad. This just becomes an immediate melee fast. But one of the things that you're going to want to do. Oops. Hope he has hit his buddy. We have the Master Sword now, so this fight is a little bit easier on the offensive side of things. But there still is... That shouldn't have hit me. I jumped. But there still is plenty to collect in terms of goodies here. So make sure that you have your grappling hook out and you use it on all their cabooses. You're going to want to grab plenty of goodies. This is just an excellent time to do it if you don't have enough skull necklaces, which... That's the Moblin collectible, if we remember that. And as you see, we are killing all of these guys in one round. Whereas before it would have taken two or three. I only have two arrows. Oh, that's right. I did do that fight where I wasted a bunch of them before big old booger hands snotted them out at me. All right. That's okay. Was this another heart? Yeah. So there are health fill-ups in here. If you need to, of course, you can use your... Your sloop? Or any other potion you have? Excuse you. There you go. So we do still have dark nuts to fight as well. I'm going to try to lure the, the moblin away by himself. It's easier to take these boys 1v1. Yeah, that's pretty crazy how much of a powerful increase you get just from the master sword. But anyway, remember how to fight these boys. Be patient. Oops. Okay. A little too patient. And once you knock off their helmet, that's when the party begins. Stop it. Okay, game. Not help me out. Okay, Z targeting apparently is useless. All right. Now, excuse you. Ooh, that did a full heart. We gotta do a little bit more parrying. Remember, we learned about fighting naked, viewers. We learned about the rules. Stop it. Okay. It's a pretty new attack. I'm not particularly enjoying this. I mean, if I was just going after him to do damage, that'd be fine, but I'm. 
I'm trying to get his goodies. Okay, his sword is gone. Thank you. Now you can, that's how you get the knight's crest. See you, bye. Ooh, can I grab this? It's mine now. Look at me. I'm the dark nut now. This is pretty sweet. Oh, I can throw it. Can't really do... I don't know if you can really do, like, effective damage with this. But I also have a bunch of boys down here to fight. So, ooh, wait. I gotta hurry up before his orb. Yeah, there's so many enemies in here. This is nuts. Dark nuts. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse you. Make money, money. All right. Got a bunch of moblins. I love how they run after you. They're like, hey, hey, hey. What about me? All right, so... Make sure you get all the skull necklaces. I don't know. I'm not sure what the skull necklace turn in is, like what the reward is for that, but you really can just cheese this a little bit with just a handful of slash attacks. Hit him with your splash attack. All right. Boop. Not what I meant to do. There's three over here. Oops. Yeah, I'm clearly very skilled at this game. Combat is something I've been practicing. I've studied the way of the blade, as you can tell. Oop. I do like that there is friendly fire, though. They will hurt each other, which I think is funny. All right. And I think we got one more. Oops. You can get multiple items from them, don't forget. I don't know what the turnover rate is. Whoa! No. I already got your... Your offerings I need from you? Whoa! Lots of woes. There we go. Yeah, see, it's a lot easier to... Get the goodies from the Moblins, but the Dark Nuts, of course, are a different story. These are the ones that you're definitely going to want to take advantage of, though, while you're here. Getting Knight's Crests is definitely more uncommon. And it looks like I do need to get to do three parries before you're even going to get a chance to get at that booty. Whoa! This episode should just be called Whoa. It probably won't be, but... How's that feel, boy? Give me your stuff. Yeah, this is a great chance to get... Well, oh, he can grab the Moblin Spear? I didn't know that. That's neat. So this is a great chance to get money. This is a great chance to get collectibles. It's a great chance to very poorly display your... Tactical skills. I promise I'm exactly as bad as I look. So if that makes you... Feel insecure about your skills. Just watch this playthrough and you'll feel much better afterwards. Alright. Just trying to get this done sooner than later. Okay. Oh, I thought his armor came off in two. I guess not. Oh, there's so many of you. I don't care for this. Oh, there's four of them. Great. This is a lot. All right, let's go ahead and let's subdivide this a little bit if we can. That sounds horrible. It's like an Erector set. Anybody remember those? All right. You can get a good amount of money. Ooh, can I do damages with this better than just myself? Let's find out. Oh, oh, it does hit. That does hurt them. Okay. Let's see if I... There's five. Yeah, this sucks. I don't know if there's a real good way to to do this, but today, hello. Ooh, I got that was like a triple shot, triple kill. Clipped my mic. I like if I have it right in front of my face. Oh come on, I moved. Uh. This doesn't feel stressful, it's just kind of annoying, I guess, if that's a good way to put it. And there's a Moblin I've left to do. Great. Yeah. 
I would love to be able to hit them in a reasonable amount of time. He's got the spear. He's a spear boy. Two spear boys. It's probably going to take the majority of the rest of my time in this episode just because of how annoying this is. Oh, that didn't count. That's annoying. Okay, I think I got a two for there. As long as you can split them up, that seems to be the best case. Alright, and then just make sure you're still getting, getting your goodies. Okay. Very nice. I was just trying to jump slash there. That seems like a pretty good way to dispatch them once you got the armor off. Oh, you can get it when they sell their armor on. Okay, I got you. Jump slash is OP. We love that. And of course, the opportunity to refill our hearts and minds. I think you at least have to knock the helmet off for it to count. Okay, I guess not. Yeah. All right, viewers. Let's go ahead and tell you in advance now. Apparently, ignore everything I'm saying because it doesn't make any sense. At least the sword play is a little cool and fun to do. Still have a decent amount of these boys to kill. The who is left? All right, so we got two dark nuts, a moblin. Moblins are, of course, the easy boys. So make sure you get it all. Can you back off? I'm working over here. I do love that sound effect. Ah! Clipped in my mic again. I don't know if you have to wait for the parry or if it's just something that I'm doing because I'm so patient. That's a lot of monies. Take that and bombs. I'm basically fully loaded on everything. Getting plenty of Knight's Crests. I think maybe the rules changed because I do have the Master Sword now. Maybe that's why everything is just... It's like slicing through... A block of cheese with a warm knife that no one does. Butter? Warm knife? Yeah, that's probably the saying. Warm block of cheese? No. I don't know my euphemism. There we go. Jump flash rules! He doesn't have his, his weaponry so we can just hack away. Is that the last one? Please. All right, so we are now have we now have access to the Lieutenant Surge's gym. We have found the two switches in the trash can. Everybody's favorite puzzle. All right, let's get the heck out of here. But before I do that, I'm actually kind of curious. Yes, thank you. All right, so we got uh, I think we already had one. So we got eight night night crests and like I don't know, ten ish of the skull necklaces. That's pretty sweet. All right, we're back outside. Let's take a look around here. Can I get up on the wall now? But yeah, this is kind of what's under the Great Sea in this variation of Hyrule that is no longer, of course. I don't know the Hyrule Historia, so I can't tell you where in the timeline this fits, but I think this is the one where did I go the wrong way? Oh, this is like a thing for speedrunners where they found out some sort of a glitch where you can break through that. And I guess it was a figuratively and literally a breakthrough. You would break through that barrier. And I guess it completely revolutionized the Wind Waker speedrun. So good for those guys. That's a spectrum of success. They are all on it, I'm sure. All right, back into the pee. Let's talk to the boat. Yep. Boat, I did it. Praise me. Yes. 
All right, all right. Relax. You know what we can do, viewers? We can go cruising. Oh, yeah. Cruising to the P. We've done it. And this was all done underwater, so Link held his breath that entire time. Very impressive. And that's just kind of it. Um, the game just kind of leaves you with that, which I think is very strange that they just kind of dump you back into the entryway of the Tower of the Gods. And they're just like, all right, I mean, go figure it out. You got more stuff to do, dummy. So there you go. But yeah, you got to do that a little bit. Get your Master Sword and then... Uh, it just opens you up for more things to do, which we will do next time. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I've been Dean Mike. This has been The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. If you enjoyed this episode, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, and watch the YouTube shorts, and I will be ready for another episode next time with more exploration. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.